what do you work on now that you don't have a game on Saturday? Do you go back and fine tune, or you yeah, just just fundamentals? We're still uh, we 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 ran some of the stuff we're going to run against Washington State today. You know, uh, we've got most of our game plan in, and uh, you know it's important for us to to get the extra work and, and to execute. You know, I think that's the thing that, that we've had some issues with in the past going on the road. We haven't executed as well, so we felt like it was important for us to get the game plan in and get as many reps uh, as quickly as we can, uh, just just so we're you know firing on all cylinders uh, Saturday. How did Willie grade out after watching film? Oh, you know, it wasn't his best game. That, that that's a that's a tough game. You know, they they put a lot of pressure on quarterbacks, and, and you really have to play well and. And uh, you know uh, everything has to happen faster just because of the speed of the game. And, and uh, you know that wasn't his best performance, but, but like I said, it's playing against those guys is tough. Um, you know, I think his entire offense. Uh, you know, I think it's one of those deals we wish we could wish we could get another chance uh, just because you know I don't think we put our best foot forward. It was tough to throw down the field on them. It looked like Mays really took. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. You know, they did it. The corners did a good job. They're big guys. Uh, they pressed our receivers a little bit. Took a lot of our easy throws away. Um, you know, we tried to go over the top a couple of times. We were close to making some plays down the field, we just didn't quite get it done. And then, uh, you know, and then we had a bunch of plays where we got the ball to guys in the middle of the field, and uh, you know, that usually result in some big plays. And, and uh, you know, they just they get to the ball fast and they tackle well, and, and uh, you know, kept us from making any big plays. And it's a hard team to, if you don't make any big plays, it's a hard team to get, you know, to have a 12, 15 play drive against. Have you ever been part of a game where eight, eight yards and a, and a half and Make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah, you know, that was, it was bad, you know, but, but, uh, do we have eight and a half? I didn't know it was that bad. Second and a half. Well, I thought we had 50, 10. 54, eight yards passing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it was, it was hard. I mean, we didn't, we didn't play well, and, and, uh, it just got to the point where, uh, you know, I think we were all struggling a little bit. It was hard to, you know, we didn't have anything to hang our hat on, and typically that's, that's what we can do normally in our passing game is when things start going bad, we've got some, We've got some things we can go to, and uh, we tried to go to them, and, and you know, they weren't working very well for us. Can you evaluate this offense, what you guys have done this year, up to eight games? Yeah, you know, we've been good at times. You know, the thing that we've been battling for two years and is just consistency. And uh, and that's, you know, the longer you're involved in the offense, uh, the more consistent you're going to become. You know, we're still still breaking in a lot of young guys. And, and, uh, and so we've done some good things at times. We've been explosive at times. And, and uh you know, we just got to continue to, to, you know, grind it out and, and uh, improve and get better and better. And, um, you know, one thing we've been able to do this year, I think, is help us. We've run the football pretty well. And, um, you know, in our passing game has uh, evolved a little differently because of that, you know. But, but, uh, but I, you know, we're, we've been good at times and not very good at other times. So, I, you know, we're about where you'd expect us to be, I think. How has the running game changed what you guys try to do or want to do with the passing well, just, uh, you know, when you're running it pretty well, then the play-action stuff is easier. Uh, and so we've become a little bit more play-action heavy. Um, you know, and, and running it like we are, we're probably not getting the ball down the field as much as, as we have in the past just because, uh, you know, just because the run game's been pretty effective for us. And so, you know, we're getting some big plays in our run game now, which is just different than we did last year. What do you think you guys need to improve on the last four games of the season or whatever? Well, we just got to play better, you know. I mean, that's the thing with us is, uh, you know, we've got to learn how to, to take advantage of all our opportunities. Uh, like the Cal game, for example, we, uh, you know, didn't play well at all in the first half and then it really came out and scored 21 points really fast in the third quarter and, and made some big plays. And we've just got to continue to be more uh, more consistent and, and execute better. And, and uh, you know, and we've just got to make sure we're getting, getting – uh, you know, the ball to the, the playmakers, uh, and Willie's got to learn that uh, sometimes he's got to, you know, be patient and make sure those guys are getting the throws that they need to get. And, and we just got to do a better job of checking things at the line of scrimmage. We made a lot of bad checks uh, Saturday, which we've really been pretty good with our with, with checking our run game and screens and stuff and, and checked, our, checked into some bad stuff on Saturday. How much of that is the system still being relatively fresh for these guys? Well, a lot, a lot of it, you know. I mean, part of it is, uh, you know, and we and, we had to do some different things against USC just to try to keep them off balance a little bit, and probably that probably hurt our execution some. And, and uh, you know, they just recovered so fast, and some things that we've been able to do against other teams, uh, we weren't able to do against those guys. And so, you know, uh, it magnifies your mistakes. When you, look, go ahead. when you look at 36 points and then like 411 yards a game, is that is that pretty good? Do you consider that pretty good? Or it's okay. I mean, we 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 certainly capable of being a lot better than that. What do you have to do to? Just, just keep working. Just keep working on it, and 
and uh, keep making good decisions and, and making sure, again, we're getting uh, getting the ball to the playmakers. And I think it's something we've got to do. If you go and look at the games we've lost, we've really done a very good job of getting the ball to those guys. And, and you know, to their credit, uh, when we got in third down, you know, USC put two guys on Robbie, you know, and, and uh, they did a good job of, you know, keeping him from getting off the line of scrimmage. And um, and so we tried to tried to kind of split guys out a little bit more to help them get off the releases. And, and so... You know, we just got to do a good job of getting Robbie and Mike more involved. And, uh, you know, and, and then when those guys get more involved, the other guys are picking up the slack as well. Do you expect Robbie to be double teamed? Or yeah, I think, he, I think he will quite a bit. You know, and we, we, we just got to recognize that better. And then, and then our guys outside got to make plays when it happens. I mean, it's going to happen. You know, uh, uh, you know they're going to see some, some coverage really get double teamed, particularly on third down. We've got to be able to uh, recognize it and get the ball to other guys. Talk about some audibles. What are some of the ones that maybe stuck out to you that you felt you probably well, we just different? check some screens into some bad, uh, some bad looks. You know, uh, uh, three or four times in the, during the course of the game. And part of it is, you know, uh, USC closes on the ball sometimes. But, but you know, we've done a good job up to this point of not checking screens into bad looks. And, and we, we check some screens into some some looks that aren't real favorable for us on Saturday. Is this the most your offenses have ever run, run the football? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think the thing that we're doing right now is we're efficient. Right? Mm-hmm. And I think that's been our, our deal is, is you know, we, we want to be efficient and, and average uh, pretty good yards per carry. And, and and when you can throw, it becomes easier to run. And when you can run, it becomes easier to throw. And so that's the, that's the whole thing in college football and, and um, you know, and really in pro football for that matter. And, and so we've got to just, you know, continue to get better at the run game and better at the passing game and meshing the two together. And, Keeping people off balance. And Texas Tech, I mean, you guys pretty much threw no matter what kind of defenses. Ran. Yeah, yeah, they're running it more, and I think that's why they're having success that they are this year. You know, I think in the past, sometimes, uh, particularly when I was at Tech, we'd throw the ball maybe into some looks that were we probably should have run into, and I think that's what uh, you know. The quarterback is a senior and has played a million snaps, and, and he's done a great job of getting them into into the correct uh, correct runs. And Willie's done a good job of doing that for us this year. I mean, that's the thing. That has probably uh, he's improved as much as he as anything, for, you know, from this year to last year, is his ability to check us uh, into good plays. And, and like I said, uh, you know, we didn't do a very good job of that Saturday, but for most of the year we've done a pretty good job. Of that. Is it frustrating as a coach to see a check in the wrong wrong? Well, it is. It is. You know, and sometimes, like I said, it's it's against SC. Sometimes you uh, you try to press a little bit. I think that's what happened. We pressed a little bit. And, and uh, didn't make some great decisions. You have no control over that, right, when you're up there? I think. Well, I shoot, yeah. I mean, of, course, of, course, of course I do. I, mean, I got to do a better job of coaching. You know? I mean, that's the thing. Just just got to get in and recognize the stuff. And, uh, but if you're going to, you know, it, when you, if you give a quarterback the freedom to get you out of bad place, he's going to make some bad checks occasionally. And, and uh, you know, and go to the well one time too many sometimes because he gets comfortable with certain plays. And, and uh, we just got to not do that. You know, you're a passing guy background. If you had to had to run or had to pass, which one would you still take? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, uh, hard to say. I mean, you, can just, you know, running the ball is good because it's, you know, it's pretty disheartening when you can run the ball against the team, you know, and I think, uh, uh, you know, and you can control the game and, and, you know, when you have to throw it, there's a lot of, a lot of things that can go wrong. Uh, you know, there's a lot more precision required in the passing game. And, and so sometimes it's been good for us, and we haven't been able to execute their passing game maybe to the standard that we want to. Uh, the run game's been there to kind of bail us out.